Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Whoa, what? Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. I tell you, you start counting the fire like a sucker. I've been in for six and a half years now. Damn, okay. So a seasoned veteran. <laughs> I know what's happening, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what's like, what's like the average career span? You know what I mean? Like, it seems like I would imagine most people that get involved don't stay more than a year or two, you know? About six months. Really? Is our, as, as a, our turnaround time, typically. Wow. So if you can last more than like the six months to if the first year, then yeah. we, we start taking everything seriously. Wow. That's damn six <laughs> months. So yeah. Not so I mean, six, no, it's not. I mean, six years over six months, that's a hell of a difference. Quite the difference. <laughs> Did you have any, you know, I mean, obviously it's a big decision to get involved in, like the adult film industry for sure. Like, cause it's, it's something that's permanent, whether you leave yeah. in six months or not, that video it's is not there. Yeah. right. So did you have any kind of, not necessarily doubts, but maybe like second guesses of, is this really what I want to do? Or? Oh, I, I definitely did. Um, I actually remember when I first talked to my agent, mm -hmm. I, I kind of agreed to, I did all my homework and everything. And I was like, okay, he's real. I'm not going into like the slave trade or, you know, something like that. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, I was talking to him and we'd agreed on a date and a flight and everything. And I ended up backing out like right before he bought the ticket. And I was like, you know what? I don't know. I still need to think about it. I, and actually the turning decision for me was uh, he'd already sent my images out to companies and penthouse wrote back and they're like we want to make her a pet wow and so that is pretty much the sole reason i got into the industry was just to see how that went and then yeah. here i am six years later <laughs> yeah so no regrets no regrets if anything no. it has been the best thing i've ever done for myself that's awesome i mean so because obviously people have you know their own ideas of what the industry must be like what you must be like mm -hmm. what how do you deal with that because obviously some I mean maybe people are more open-minded now than they used to be but I'm sure there's a lot of people that have their judgments about you oh yeah I mean my job certainly comes with uh, a little more judgment than most I feel yeah. um but at the end of the day I don't care I just don't care <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, as the old saying goes, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And their words can't hurt me because at the end of the day, they're nobody to me. Their opinions don't matter. They're not going to affect my life in any way, shape or form. And the odds of me ever having to deal with this person again, almost minuscule. So I'm not going to let them ruin what I have going for me. All because they're jealous or bitter or upset. Yeah. Yeah, because it's just, I feel like there are people that just, no matter what, even though it's none of their business, like what you do, yep. it makes no difference to them. They None. still feel the urge to like be vocal about whether they support you or not. Of Would course. Cool? I've, it's, it's, it's annoying <laughs> to have to deal with. I will yeah. say it, 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 it just gets repetitive. Um, but again, at the end of the day, I block them. I delete it. I move on. Yeah. That's the best way to be. I mean, to just like wipe your hands clean of it and not yeah. have to deal with it. No. Cause ultimately like, what are, what are they going to do? Like they're not paying your bills. They're not doing anything for you. They're so. not supporting my career. You're not exactly. a fan. You do nothing but cause me a headache. <laughs> I'm going to block you or yeah. I'm going to walk away from you 
and I'm going to be done. <laughs> yeah. Were you surprised at all? Like, you know, so obviously people have miscon may have misconceptions about you, but did you have misconceptions about what it would be like? Um, I'll be honest. I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. I, you know, I, I watched porn. So I, yeah. I kind of saw, you know, what everybody else sees. But I, I never looked at them as if, you know, a lot of people do like, oh, these are dirty people or, oh, it's, it's nasty or it shouldn't be done. It was always really interesting. And it was something that I never saw myself doing. Um, I, I had a completely different trajectory um, mm -hmm. when I started, but I'm really glad I did. Yeah. I love my job. Yeah. And can't see myself doing anything else for a while yeah it'll, so it'll be adult related right right so do you kind of have like a bucket list per se like set aside for you as far as like what you want to accomplish in the industry um I, I kind of do and I've been knocking in my bucket list out I uh I'm not 100 percent 100 percent sure about this but I believe I am the first girl girl performer penthouse pet of the year really i don't think there was another performer that was girl girl only that made yeah. pet of the year before well, congratulations. Um, so thank you so that was pretty cool and i could be wrong about that i could be just totally pulling that out of my own ass but i'm, I'm gonna go with that until yeah. someone corrects me oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah like are there are there certain like co-stars or think you know are certain actors or actresses that you would like to work with Oh, that are kind oh, of on board of the bucket list? Yes, absolutely. There have been, like, there have been many. Um, I got to work with a guy that I've been watching for, I'm not going to say how many years, um, but a long time. Yeah. Um, James Dean was my first okay. boy girl on camera. Um, and never in a million years did I ever think when yeah. I was watching him in porn that mm -hmm. I would get to actually have sex with this man. <laughs> And then yeah. I did, and now we're friends, and it's it's really great. And he's a wonderful person. Um, but I I have been slowly uh, I call it my to do list. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Has anyone ever, you know, being that you've been in the industry for as long as you have, have you had anyone come up to you and tell you that you were on their like bucket list of, you know. Like, oh, one day maybe I'll get to work with her. Like, I have. And it's such a strange feeling. I have to say, it's a very, a very odd feeling yeah. um, to know that somebody looks at you and goes, I really hope I get to work with her. And it's like, really? Because I still feel that way about so many people that it's, yeah. who feels that way about me? <laughs> yeah. But that's a good attitude to have, like a kind of humble, like humbleness to it. Oh, yeah. I, I, always be humble i mean there's no point in in getting a big head and being a diva and yeah. at the end of the day you're no better or no worse than anybody else for sure for sure yeah i mean it's probably pretty difficult to keep that mindset though i can see in instances where it can be hard to keep that mindset mm -hmm. but i don't know that's just been a part of who i am yeah um you know i grew up in the Midwest where attitude is very, very different. And yeah. I don't know, maybe that's a, a part of it. But. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that like, if you were to rate like your self-esteem confidence levels pre porn versus now, do you think that you've gotten like a lot more confident as a person? I am a totally different person in yeah. the very best of ways. I am more confident. I don't let anybody walk on me anymore. There's nobody that's going to take advantage of me. Yeah. Like I am. I'm, I love what porn has made me. Yeah. And the sex work in general, you know, I was, I was a dancer before mm -hmm. that. And then I, I went from dancer to webcam model and then webcam to porn. Yeah. So I've, I've, I've dabbled in everything. Yeah. I just think that a lot of people, you know, back going back to like a misconception that people think that 
that is like degrading or if you're involved then you must have like a low self-esteem there's things like that but it seems to be the exact opposite that it's like ridiculously empowering it absolutely can be and i mean there are instances where of course i'm sure that that does happen um with certain companies and but a lot of the times as long as you have a reputable agent or you work with reputable companies you're not going to have those experiences and i for me it's been nothing but uplifting i've never had an experience that just went oh wow that just yeah made me feel worse about myself yeah and then also like surely you know what it is that you're going to be doing well beforehand right or do sometimes is there kind of like <laughs> hey like last minute would you do this or oh yeah and a lot of times it depends on who you're working with and um sometimes you'll get a script a week before a shoot you know mm -hmm. which is great because you you have time to prepare and especially if you have to bring wardrobe and whatnot it's uh yeah. it's nice to know all that beforehand um but then you do get certain people that are like all right this is your call time this is who you're going to be working with maybe tentatively yeah. uh and bring this variety and it could be like bring schoolgirl to business office and you're like mm. okay okay <laughs> so and then yeah. sometimes you're a last you're the last minute call in like hey yeah. we had somebody that canceled can you work and it's like sure <laughs> yeah so what's the like do you keep count of how many scenes that you've done like in total nope i have no idea <laughs> i can't a lot <laughs> what do you think is like your busiest month if you had to guess all of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know i i um I was always one of those people that I was always on top of it. So I tried to stay very consistent and, you know, yeah. I, I live in Vegas, so I'd go out to LA for two weeks at a time or sometimes longer, sometimes a little shorter, just depending on what yeah. I had up. Or sometimes I make two or three drives back and forth, you know, between what I'm doing. So it's i uh, I'm always busy. Yeah. Do you get recognized often? Not too often, but I do get this. You look familiar. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah. or I have occasionally people, hey, do you work at such and such at what's the place? And I'm like, no. They're like, God, you look so familiar. And I'm like, hmm. Sometimes yeah. it's fun to call them out on it. Sometimes yeah, it's fun yeah. to just go, no, but I do porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's, I mean, I'm sure that it's weird that people get embarrassed, like that like it's like this feeling that like you shouldn't be open that you watch porn even though more people watch it than all sports combined like it's yeah. like Pornhub is visited more than I think Facebook YouTube Instagram and Twitter put together I know so it's like, like everybody who, watches porn it's yeah. fine right so you like know. who are you trying to fool by pretending that that's not how they know you yeah I'm like, what is so bad about you doing what every other person does? Yeah. Like, yeah, I, it's like, I do porn and I watch porn. Ex yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's one of those things that's so common that when people tell me they don't watch porn, I either one, don't believe them, or I think that they're, there's something very weird about them. <laughs> yeah. I've met a few that I truly honestly believe don't watch porn, and I'm like, yeah Ooh, yeah no i actually believe you but it's like Ooh. it's just it just shows that that's how popular it is because yeah. if somebody told me they don't watch baseball i'm not gonna like second guess them i'm just gonna be like yeah, yeah you're me like, you're like, oh, okay right right but porn is one of those things that like you just assume everybody watches it. like yeah everyone. numbers don't lie and there's yeah. a reason we're all here <laughs> yeah were you like a very because i think that there's something that goes along with this that were you a very like curious person growing up yes yeah yes i was i, I think there's like a connection between like porn like people who really get into it and then like curiosity as a child or oh, not yeah. like a teenager like because i was the same way like constantly curious about 
everything. And I would watch like, do you remember watching like uh, Real Sex on HBO? Oh, I do remember Real Sex. <laughs> so like, I would watch that every time it was on, and not for any kind of like pleasure reason. It was strictly yeah. just because I thought it was fascinating. Yeah, my mom uh, used to go to like, I don't know if you remember Rotten.com. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, God! I'm that's where, I, I think that's where my fascination really began to to start is because there's so much stuff on Rotten. Rotten was rough. Like there's there are visuals ingrained in my memory forever. Oh, yeah. yeah, same here. Because of that website. Because of that website, <laughs> I still feel around sometimes. I was like, man. <sighs> Do you? So this is kind of something that I've always been curious about too like because obviously schools and I mean most parents do not teach people about sex at all Mm -mm. Um, like the most you're going to get is that like mean girls uh you know don't have sex you'll get pregnant and you'll die everybody grab a rubber you know that like coat and speed (laughs) (laughs) and do you because I understand that porn is a fantasy for the most part, like a yeah. like wrestling, like it's an exaggeration. But do you think exactly. it can be used as like an education tool? Um, I in certain aspects I do. Mm-hmm. Um, but would I recommend that that be the first thing kids ever see regarding sex? Absolutely mm-hmm. not. I mean, yeah. it, because it is so unrealistic. It's meant. Not for somebody that's so impressionable, but it's just somebody that's already been there and just needs to jack off for a minute. I mean, that's what it's there for. It, but it's not, I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't use it as a tool to teach my children about sex because it, like I said, you know, no guy is going to be small. And it's, and that's a problem I hear a lot. I have a lot of younger guys, you know, like 18 mm-hmm. come to me and they're like, hey, so I've got like, a seven inch dick I think it's too small and I'm like are you kidding me <laughs> you're like yeah. all the porn guys I'm like there's a reason they're in porn right <laughs> yeah I mean that's like looking at a bodybuilder and thinking like why aren't my biceps you know 28 exactly. inches <laughs> like yeah if, you, if they were you'd be doing that and then you try to do the positions that you see in there and they they suck so hard sometimes yeah see that's the so you know like I grew up basically like with no education on sex like my parents didn't they never gave me that talk so I pretty much learned about sex from porn and like Howard Stern (laughs) which is like not a great combination so I had to like unlearn how to have sex pretty much because I would try things thinking that like, oh, well, you're obviously going to like this because all these videos I've watched, they seem to really like it. They and then you it. find out, yeah. And then you find out that, um, no, no. <laughs> the average person is not interested in doing 90% of what is in porn. Nope. Reverse cowgirl is my number one. I hate, hate, <laughs> hate reverse cowgirl. I do. I, I, it's just, yeah. and especially if you've got a guy that you like can't lean on their chest, then you're in this weird like crab walk position <laughs> and you're trying to like fuck at the same time. It, it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. And it's all, it like, and it's clearly a position designed for a camera. It is. I mean, it <laughs> opens you up the best, especially yeah. if you can get in that leg back position. Like they pull your legs yeah. back. You are so open and that's what it's for. And people yeah. often forget that when we make porn, that's the goal is to mm-hmm. open for everyone to see. It's not necessarily about our pleasure. And if you can find that pleasure, fantastic. But right. you don't go to work necessarily looking for it all the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, mine was, uh, I just thought everyone liked having doing anal. <laughs> but I was just like you know like fifth base <laughs> uh, turns out no it isn't no it's a commodity <laughs> yeah yeah and I I got like a lot of looks of what the fuck are you doing and I was like oh 
is this not like a good idea? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it gets me is when guys like slap the pussy really hard. And I'm like, <laughs> light, like light snacks. Good. But I, guys are like, <laughs> and it's like, ha. Ah! Yeah. Oh, see, and you gotta look like you enjoy it sometimes and you're like, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> See, I, I think it goes both ways though because I think that there are a lot of girls who were in the same position like learn yes. about from porn and so they will think that this is the way that like this guy is going to be yeah he's going to enjoy this because I know there was uh, which I've talked about before but there was like somebody that I met pretty much randomly and we had sex and within like seconds was like you can choke me if you want and i was not into it <laughs> like, I, was, I was like i don't even know your middle name <laughs> <laughs> like hell no and then like the last thing i need is to be like you know like and i'm i don't know i'm not like a dominating person like right not really and it was just it threw me but ever since then i've been thinking i was like she must like have seen this in porn so many times that like like i can understand if you're in a relationship with someone but like we met like that afternoon oh i can't say anything <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe not then <laughs> oh, my, there's a lot of times my first days on set with meeting somebody and i'm like hey my name's kenna and they'll be like hey my name's john or whatever yeah. and then it's like cool cool yeah so we're gonna go bone now um my only no is don't spit on my face and don't spit in my mouth you can choke me you can smack me you can do whatever you want it's fine but just... so <laughs> but that's way different because you're doing like i mean you're that's filming. true that's like, true just the... i would never do that in my personal life like right, with some the... guy that i just met i'd be like eh, no no i don't know trying. this is a, you this might is kill a me that, yeah this is a girl that i took to like outback and then <laughs> <laughs> like it's not it's nowhere near the same <laughs> yeah damn so what i mean so are those like your only limits like as far as things that you're like i'm like i'll do pretty much everything else but i'm do not spit on me if it's not an anal scene then obviously no anal goes on my note list because of yeah, not being yeah. paid for anal <laughs> yeah. yeah um but yeah like most of it just goes at that point, like no fisting, no putting, no, in the right circumstances, you can even put your foot on my face. I mean, it's really, and my, my note list used to be a lot longer, um, yeah. but then I spent six years in porn. Turns out I like a lot of things. <laughs> were the things that, that you, that were on the list that you tried later and was like, damn, how, why was this ever on the list? This is awesome. Yeah. Yep. You of those actually. Like, like the what? whole, uh, like the whole foot on the head thing. There yeah. are instances where that is a, a wonderful move. <laughs> yeah. There's a time and a place. Um, yeah. But there's, there's, a, there's a few different things. Like what else? What else have I done? Like I didn't realize I would like choking as much as I do. And there's, mm -hmm. there's a, there's a fine line that you have to walk with it because the pleasure yeah. part is right before you black out. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you gotta get like right there you gotta get to where it just starts to fade a little bit and then when they release it's amazing you just lose all control of your body and it's so yeah. fantastic but take it just a step further and you're out <laughs> that's the problem see and that's what threw me was that like <laughs> look at one point that we're just having sex a second later i'm now committing a crime <laughs> I've actually had that happen um at work. Damn. Um and, and it wasn't it wasn't the guy's fault at all. Yeah, um yeah. it was just like misbreathing and everything else. Because I mean when you're mm -hmm. taking deep breaths after a moment, you gotta have that moment. Sometimes it's just a yeah. little too quick. And I got <laughs> we were in a doggy position and then he, I leaned up against him. He was holding me like this with his arm and out. But I was like out for like maybe five seconds, if even that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they so said, like, yeah. They're like, you came roaring back. We thought we were gonna have to stop and check on you, <laughs> but you just yeah. kept going like nothing even happened. Jesus. 
<laughs> and then yeah. and then you're, you there's the fear of crushing the windpipe because there are people guys and girls alike that don't know how to choke properly yeah yeah you're not supposed to like they think you, you just really... push right here and it's like Ugh, that's my windpipe <laughs> yeah you got to get like right here get on the sides oh good advice Those are your pressure points oh. <laughs> yeah i just i don't know it gets i don't know like maybe i'm not adventurous enough i don't know but it's I not just, for everybody like yeah. and that's and that's okay too like yeah i'm into all kinds so it doesn't mean every time i have sex like i gotta yeah. get choked out like yeah. i love passionate romantic sex um it's my yeah. favorite it's what i prefer to do yeah well I'm I, mean, gotta get I mean i think i do too i just once it turns into like a ufc match i'm kind of <laughs> out <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not trying to get arm barred halfway through Sometimes it's surprisingly fun to do a little UFC in the bedroom. Yeah. But again, it's, <laughs> that's the wonderful thing about porn is there's something for everyone. For sure. Are, okay. So speaking of, are there, hmm, are there fetishes that you just, and not to like shame people's fetishes or anything like that, but are there fetishes that you just don't understand? Like mild balloons. ones that you don't, balloons. Balloon fetishes. I don't, I just, I don't, I don't get it it's so weird <laughs> no i'm with you i just found out about that like not even a couple of weeks ago oh, i was really? like you know, yeah i didn't know that that yeah. was a thing i was like scrolling through like porn up you know you go through like eight you things, categories and shit and well i saw one and there's just some it was like some girl just on a bunch of balloons i was like what the fuck and so like i clicked on it just as like i want to know what this is right you, you just, and, and she's just like, popping them with her body and rubbing yeah, on them like with her thighs like like crushing yeah. them like you know popping yeah. and i was like i was like fascinated but in no way turned off no it's it's fascinating <laughs> but not arousing yeah. for me yeah i i did one and it's before i ever realized this is how i discovered the balloon fetish is I did mm -hmm. a shoot and I thought it was just supposed to be this like solo masturbation with like a we call him chiseled chad in the industry mm -hmm. but it's like just the the female toy that's an abdomen with a dick on it oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we call him chiseled chad so yeah. I thought it was just with him and just masturbation and he starts bringing out these balloons and he's like I want you to like sit on him and bounce on him and then pop them now I don't like popping balloons. I don't. It, 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 one, when you pop big enough balloons with your body, it hurts. Yeah. Badly when it, the impact hits. And yeah. I had some big ones I was popping that day. Um, and I just, I don't like the sound. I won't even open a can of Pillsbury biscuits. I won't do it just because of that little pop. I hate it. You don't know when it's coming. It may not come. You may have to make it pop. You don't know. I don't yeah. Like it. I'm with you. I have like <laughs> <laughs> just anxiety from. <laughs> waiting for it to pop like it's like yeah. I, have, I have like ptsd but i've never been in a war exactly yeah exactly <laughs> what it feels like. <laughs> like i don't know what it is but yeah like the pillsbury things popping i hate all can't, of that can't do it i i yeah. hand them to open my friends or i won't even make them until i have friends over and i'm like hey will you open these oh i know i'm the same like, i've had like... them for like two months but i haven't been able to make them <laughs> yeah I, I hate loud noise i hate fireworks i'm basically a fucking golden retriever See, like, yeah. but I love, I love fireworks. I like I how like they move. I just like, don't like the sound. It's the, that goddamn sound. It messes not the with sound me. for me. Mine is the uncertainty. With fireworks, I pretty much know when it's going to go off. Guns, I pretty much know when they're going to go off. You don't yeah. know when that biscuit's ever going to pop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Damn. Uh, no, I had a, like a few little like quick questions, um, just kind of like for fun. Uh, I was gonna yeah. go through with you. Um, who was like a childhood crush for you? Like celebrity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, all I'm thinking are cartoon characters. God help me. Oh, <laughs> that well, that might say a lot. <laughs> John Smith from Pocahontas. Uh, <laughs> he was it for a while, man. Uh, Shang from Mulan. But I'm trying to think real life people. Um, 
<laughs> Damn, John. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could just say, you know, Mel Gibson. Yeah. Rob Lowe. Ah, uh, of Rob course. Lowe from the Stand days. Mr. Beefcake. Yeah, like, yeah, the Stand West Wing, like that. Yeah. 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 There we go. Rob Lowe. That's a good one. And yeah. Mila Kunis. She has been and always and still is. Yeah. The scene Mila between her and Natalie Portman and Black Swan. God. <laughs> oh, no. Still works. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh yeah, my neck was sweating watching that. I was like, geez. Yeah, I know. I was like, I watched it with my mom and it started out. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I I made a great decision in watching that movie before I was going to watch it with my parents. And I'm so glad that I did because I was like, yeah, we're not going to watch this one. We'll watch a social network or something. That's a much more family approach. Yeah, I was, like, I was like, hell no, I'm not like that's the most like that sex scene if you're with your parents i mean it's probably like a what 15 20 second scene it feels like three hours like, it's no it's, it's honestly it's a good five six minutes like they go is it really that long it for a minute it, it is like a longer it's yeah. you know it's not like the whole uh cocktail tom cruise type thing where it's just like 10 seconds on screen and you're like yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah. that was just the taste yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one's the whole you can get the job done on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Mila Kunis is that's a good one. Mine was oh. like as a kid was always a uh, like Carmen Electra. Oh yeah, Carmen Electra. Yeah. Carmen Electra or like Fran Drescher, you know, from the nanny. Fran Drescher, really? Oh my god. I can't god. the voice. Nope. Voice. I yeah, I have a thing with like voices. Like ah. uh I love like weird accents, like voices that most people would find annoying are like a turn on. Like Rosie Perez. Isn't her name? Yeah, Rosie Perez, like that kind of stuff. Oof. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, imagine waking yeah. up to that in the morning. I uh I guess I have a type when it comes to uh if I love Australian. Anything Australian is just amazing. Yeah. Um, and then southern. Like that, that good old boy Southern draw, mm -hmm. not the, not the hick yeah. the draw. <laughs> yeah, the, the, Matthew, uh, the Matthew McConaughey. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, like, cause I'm from Texas. So the Southern accent is, does nothing for me just cause yeah, I'm, I'm so used to it. I grew up around it too, but that's still, it yeah. Gets <laughs> yeah damn that's a good one well that I'm was actually one of my, that was actually one of my questions was sexiest accent so covered oh, that well, there you go <laughs> right, um, <laughs> what's uh something that's a non-sexual turn on besides accent confidence mm. yeah and a good smile okay so confidence just in general or yeah just in yeah. general you know yeah. like you're not i mean yeah i really i like the laid back just the easy going mm -hmm. it's my thing love it yeah i can't be with yeah. someone who's too tense because then i feed right off of it and then i'm too tense yeah can't. See, I'm, I'm with you like i like and i think guys are kind of different in that sense. like a lot of guys i know don't like like confident like empowered women but I love it. that's like my go-to if i know like like older women especially like even as a kid but like i there's something about like a strong like aggressive woman like that's always oh, yeah. Been for me yeah all right. So, all right if you could do a scene with any celebrity who would it be Mila Kunis probably Okay. If I could do a couple and do okay. Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher together, oh, <laughs> that's a good sign one. Sign me up. <laughs> See, I would do a. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Barack and Michelle would be a good one. <laughs> Man, Michelle Obama is. See, that's like that's my type. Like a Michelle Obama, like super 
confident, like, yeah. Gotcha. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and then last <laughs> one, if you could do a porn parody of any movie, what would it be? Alice in Wonderland, probably. That, yeah, that makes sense. I love Alice in Wonderland. Black Swan would actually be a good one. Black Swan would be an amazing. You wouldn't have to really change too much. You just have to, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> all right and then last thing if you were going to give advice to anyone who is wanting to get into the business but isn't sure what's your advice do what makes you happy don't do what an agent tells you don't do what a director says just because everybody's doing it know your worth know your value and it's okay to start small and work your way up. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Well, uh, I mean, before you go, uh, is there any like links that you want to give out? Where can people follow you, find you? Sure. I have my only fans is Kenna James X. Uh, on Twitter, I am Kenna James 21. On Instagram, I am at real Kenna James. Or if you can't find anything you like there, I'm all over Google. Well, I guess you just have to be prepared to die. Whoa, what? Pay attention. Get off your cell phones. Pay attention. Stop counting fire like a sucker.